Hey guys, so before I start anything, I'm just going to point out the elephant in the room. This, I am embracing my messy hair today because why not? It's one of those days where nothing is really working the way I would like for it to work, so I'm just gonna start. So earlier in the week, I went and got a manicure, which I don't usually do anymore because I love doing my own nails, but I decided to spend some time with a new friend of mine, and so we went and got our nails done. And I got shellac, and I like the color a lot. It, I can't, I think it was like honey suckle something. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, although this can last a lot longer than regular nail polish, I wanna take it off now. So I figured now is the best time to show you guys how to take it off at home without having to go to a nail salon and paying for it because if you're like me, you don't like spending money on things you don't have to do or spend money on. One of those. The four items you need are a nail file or a nail buffer, your choice of aluminum foil or aluminium if you're Australian. I really love that. Cotton balls, I usually use cotton rounds to take off nail polish, but for this case, I'm using cotton balls, not cotton rounds. And acetone. You can get this at any, you can get like a regular size bottle for like normal human beings at like Walmart or Walgreens, you know, any type of store that has cosmetic stuff. So first, Take some, however long you want or need, really. That is noisy. So you want something that's, you know, good enough to wrap around your finger because that's what you're gonna be doing with it. You probably don't need this much tin foil for 10 fingers, but I did, so sorry, mom, for wasting. I'm probably just gonna fast forward it, like, now. So I have 10 pieces for each finger, and I'm going to go ahead and do the left hand first since I'm right handed, just because it's going to be easier, obviously. That was probably too big, because it's like the size of my hand, it doesn't need to be that big. It honestly could be just like that much, but I didn't do that, so. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a cotton ball, well, I hate the feeling of dry cotton balls. <laughs> <gasps> you're just gonna like get it you know wet I'm gonna just do make sure it's all good and you're gonna put it on desired finger and then you're gonna take yes, just wrap that thing around so I've got one so this is kind of what it, it's gonna look like it's not really it, you kind of look weird I'm really focused right now. I just saw myself in the reflection. I was like, wow. Moving on over. Oh, goodness. Slippery little buggers. <laughs> I've got one hand all ready to be soaky soaked up. So I just realized that I totally forgot step one where you buff your nails before doing this. So, all right, so I just buffed them a bit and I'm gonna see if I can slip these right back on. You didn't see anything. I did it correctly now. Now that I did it correctly, I'm going to wait about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take these bad boys off, so. Okay, and then after this, what you can use, like some people use the cuticle pushers, but if you don't have them, you can just pretty much use your finger 
your other nail, but I found a cuticle pusher. So this handy dandy thing. It's gonna help me scrape off what, I don't know if you can see this. It's gonna help me scrape off a good amount of this stuff. Ugh. Feels weird. Doesn't hurt, but it, it feels peculiar. Okay, so I got most, a good amount of it off, but it's not all of it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just slide them right back on. That's not the right one. That's the right one. But I'm just gonna slide them right back on for a couple more minutes. It's kind of a tedious process, but for me, it's worth it. Okay, so I waited about four more minutes, and I'm gonna try it again to see if I can get the rest of this stuff off. Okay, and now I'm gonna just try buffing it. which is really starting to do the trick because there's still a couple more fragments left but it's to the point where you can't soak that off you just have to buff it off voila pretty good i'm excited and then time for the other hand Ugh, i hate the feeling of cotton balls Ugh. Ugh. So I've got this hand done. I'm actually gonna this time wait more than 10 minutes just to see if soaking it longer helps get it all off in one try. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with 15 minutes on this hand just to see. And if not, then it just shows that it doesn't really matter. You're gonna have to do it twice anyway. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes on this hand and I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can get all of the stuff off in uh, one fell in one try instead of having to soak it twice ugh gross okay so i don't think that helped at all i don't think the extra like 5 minutes soaking helped very much but i'm going to try buffing it see if maybe Okay, so I mean I can buff it off after this. After buffing them, this one was for 10 the first time and then I scraped them and then I soaked them again and scraped them again and then buffed them. This I just soaked for 15 minutes, scraped them once, and buffed them. There's not too much of a difference. Maybe this one is a little bit better done. So if you can see them, I don't I don't know if you can see them, but I would say that this hand looks a bit better and cleaner, but I am just so thankful to have this stuff off of my hands that I'm not complaining in the slightest. What I would recommend after taking off gel or shellac, I wouldn't recommend doing a whole like color or your own design or something. And that, like, it's not proven, but I would just like to give my nails some breathing room and a break from having all that on them. So I'm really just going to put on China Glaze Nail Strengthener and growth formula. I'm just gonna put a layer of this on and leave them be for a couple days. Just so they have a bit of a break and they can grow. And then after that, you can do whatever you want. Or you can do whatever you want before. I don't make rules. <laughs> so I hope that was informative, if not a bit comical to see me mess up with my messy ginger hair. <laughs> if you liked the video, just comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.